interstates were constructed over 50 years ago and with the repeated freezing and thawing events the different rock cuts are going to start to age. We never know exactly when a rock is going to fall, unfortunately, but some do pose more of a hazard than others. We have a proactive plan where we program so many projects per year where we try to focus on the, the most serious, most hazardous rock cuts around the state. One of the strategies that we use the most was high scaling. We had a specialty contractor come in. They suspend themselves on ropes, they do rope access work, and they rappel down the slope with pry bars. They can get in the cracks, check them to see if they're loose. If there's any loose rocks that they encounter, they can pull those off with the pry bars. They've also got airbags, and these are heavy-duty rubberized bladders, really. And they just slide that into the crack, and then they pressure it up, and, and it, this thing blows up like a pillow. And, and that action right there will help to push the rock off of the slope, and we can get rid of that loose rock. Those methods are used a lot of times because they're not as expensive as, say, blasting the slope back. They're not as invasive as blasting a slope back. And this high scaling from ropes uh, doesn't require a whole lot of area at the bottom of the slope for staging equipment. And that way we're able to keep the roads, both lanes, uh, usually open. So we're whittling away at these uh, the worst rock cuts and I think we're, we're doing a good job in, in proactively identifying the, the worst actors and, and making sure that our roads are safe.